One MC Tamaris and Yeh from Chennai Event MC's Entertainers and Professionals, Event MC, MC Trainer, MC Manager and the Founder of the Above Brands. What to do when you don't have money but you would like to avail some services or you would like to get something or whether it's a training program or, or it's a product or it's any services uh, but you don't have money. So that's what I'm going to share over here. In fact, uh, I have shared a couple of videos a couple of years back on the same topic. So today I thought that because it's uh, sometimes it's uh, not sometimes it's much wanted topic uh, in this pandemic time because uh, when I interact with a lot of people like whether they approach me for training or whether they approach for opportunity or sometimes or whether they approach for any other favor or for some goods or services or products they say that I'm completely bankrupt in the last one year or one and a half years I don't have money like I've spent all my savings or uh, I don't have money at all so I want you to help or uh, I want you to give me opportunity. But uh, I would like to share something to them like when you don't have money, what are the ways you would be able to avail the services? So basically, first thing, let's start from the product or any services or any training program. For example, this is what not only in this pandemic time, even before that, this is what exactly I have been following because that's how I learned a lot from a lot of trainers as well. I never had a, a surplus money to attend any training programs or avail any services and most of the training programs what I attended were premium budget training program where I spent a lot for them. But I never told any of the trainers that their fees is more. So this is one important thing you need to understand. Like when you want to avail someone's service, whether it's a product, goods or services, never tell them their uh, services or their charges are more. Don't say that it's quite expensive. Rather, you tell them that I'm not affordable. I don't, I don't have the affordability to pay that. However, I have the interest to uh, join that or I have interest to learn or whatsoever. So first, be transparent with them. Explain them the exact scenario instead of telling the person that's their product is expensive so that is the first important thing we need to understand for example i attended a lot of training programs that way like uh, whenever i want to attend training program or uh, sometimes uh, myself and nandini we both are uh, professional training programs we both use to attend together so all i tell the trainer trainer is like we would like to attend this program but at the same time we don't have money at this moment maybe uh, we can give a posted a check can we pay after 10 days or can we pay after 15 days or maybe even let it be a month for example some of the spiritual programs that's how i attended so that's the first thing I did. Second thing I asked them, like we both would like to come together. So is there any discount you'd be able to give us? We never asked them like you have to give us discount or this is what we are going to pay. Rather, we just asked them what is the best possible thing they can give us. And in most of the places we have got a uh, real good discounts and also we have got some time for making the payment. So basically you need to explain them. This is the situation, but still I'm interested to attend this program. I understand this is your charges. But this is my position, but I would like to attend it. What are the possible ways you can? Uh, what are the possible ways you can tell them? And also you can ask them one is what you can tell them like I can give it. Sorry, you can tell them um, what are the possible ways uh, when you don't have the money. You can tell them like uh, uh, this is what I can do. Like uh, I can make the post data payment and uh, we would like to have a discount and whatsoever it is. You can just give your proposal and then they will also tell you like uh, anything uh, apart from this they may also give you some other options as well that also i'll be discussing over here and now um barter system you can try like when i say barter system like you get a service from them and you offer some other service for example you attend a training program uh, from them like it may be uh, worth three thousand rupees five thousand rupees or ten thousand worth so you can tell them accordingly you can also offer them some service for example if i'm an event tanker i get some service from them so probably i can tell them okay i can host a couple of events free for them not only for them maybe for the clients as well so that you can uh, make an exchange and you'll be able to compensate that money when you are offering your service so that is uh, one thing and the third thing what i wanted to share is you can do marketing for them for example that's what i said i'll come a little later when i want to attend someone's training program like i don't have money then what they the option most of the trainers would give is okay bring some five more participants you can start marketing my program like if you are going to bring five participants like anyway i'm going to give you 10 percent or 20 percent of the referral fee most of the cases is 20% referral fee in some cases it would be 10% so which means when I start doing marketing for them and I'm able to bring in five more participants for that it becomes like a five plus one offer like anyway that's a 20% you're going to get the referral fee for five persons you are going to get the hundred percent or the payment so which means you are the, uh, attending the program for free so these are the possible ways you can approach any I'm just giving the training industry as an example likewise you think in your own industry what are the possible ways you would be able to collaborate with others so that you can have the learning as a lifelong thing because most of the cases especially in the pandemic time people say I don't have money but I want to earn like I do a lot of research I send them a lot of checklists 
where they themselves honestly admit like uh, they have they have not been earning for last one year they don't have money but the moment they associate with me within the first week or within the first day they would like to earn but do you think like once i give them the opportunity once i show them the way they are going to stick with me for a long time definitely not in most of the cases so which means when a person who is in completely bankrupt state i'm teaching them some principles i'm teaching them some strategies i make them earn but within a week or within a month they are going to go away uh, without even uh, worry without even thinking that i was the one who showed them the path so for that what we say just uh, to prove their seriousness they have to make some caution deposit i don't call it as a caution deposit it's called as a training fee for example if they want to learn something on uh, technicalities in the online emsing the virtual emsing world or something uh, like marketing so definitely they need to make some payment but still they say that no i don't have any money like if it was last year i would have made the payment but now i don't have money but never uh, you can take it as the uh, genuine reason like when someone says they don't have money it's not the actual fact i always say that it depends on the priority for example like i used to say this few years back when when a couple of trainees they approach us for training when i ask them like the training fees is going to be 2000 rupees or 3000 rupees or you need to undergo such sort of training they would say no my parents will not allow they my parents would not pay that much amount but they will have iphone in their hand which is worth 30000 rupees or 40000 rupees or they come with an expensive bike or wherever they go they travel in cab or and whatever the mode which is quite expensive so which means they are ready to spend their money on something else but when it come for the training or when it come for something really important for their profession they are not ready to spend so which means i don't have money is not a genuine reason in most of the case most of the case i wouldn't say 100% cases most of the cases i don't have money is not the genuine case rather their priority differs they are ready to spend on something else but they are not ready to spend or uh, something over here for example a person who says they are completely bankrupt for the last one year do you think they don't have money at all to spend for their food or to spend for their clothing or to spend for something else even for the mobile recharge so they have been spending on something else not only this apart from this they would also been spending on something else also but when it come for the training people think that why should i spend money for the training rather uh, i can just start earning from the day one but people have not been earning that is the truth in this pandemic time they don't know what are the ways they can earn i'll take my industry my own industry like we have been waiting for the lockdown to get released to for that so that the um uh, physical event industry opens but it hasn't opened yet because of the lockdown so which means people are jobless which means they don't have the path or they don't have the idea how to do the business online or how to earn online so which means i am going to teach them something new or something which they don't know which they have not applied so for which they should be ready to spend training it's not that i'm just sharing my case like because this is the period lockdown period will be attending a lot of webinar a lot of training programs but the same reason will give everyone i don't have money but i want you to help me definitely 90% of the trainers will not be able to help you unless you are ready to spend certain amount on the training program that can, you can consider that as an investment or you can consider that as something to show your seriousness or something as a caution deposit for the time the trainer is investing on you so these are the basic things you need to consider apart from that you can try on the barter system like uh, you ask them like okay uh, you can uh, conduct training program i will join this training program same way i will be offering some service for you or i'll do marketing for you so these are the ways you can do definitely most of the trainers who have crossed these stages definitely they will be able to support you for example even me like some of my training programs i charge them for a virtual emsing at the same time i do have the internship model where you need to work you need to do certain works for one month where every day i'll be giving you work for 2 to 3 hours if you do that consistently for one month so which means you are showing your seriousness then i can start spending my time on you but people are not ready for that most of the time people say no i'm not ready to make the payment because i don't have money tell me some other way where i can associate with you then i tell them this internship model where they need to do some marketing or they need to do some back end work again they say no i cannot do this work i don't have time already i'm busy but i don't know where people are busy they say that they are not earning they don't have any work but when i ask them to do work for 3 to 4 hours of work whatever the work it is in fact all these are ethical work nothing like i'm asking you to do something against your morality so when i'm teaching you something ethical work and also that's going to help your business but you don't have 3 to 4 hours to spend every day so which means you are spending your time on something else but still you are grumbling that you are not earning money so it will be very very difficult for us to help such people so think all these thing uh, think all these things when you approach someone especially the trainers or a coach or a consultant or someone uh, from whom you are looking out for opportunity basically be ready to spend money first if you don't have money be ready to have the barter system or be ready to do the marketing uh, exchange or ask them for the time for example sometimes people will say okay teach me something and i will earn and make make the payment to you for example some of the mcs have also approached me saying like for the first few events i am ready to work for free i absolutely agree with that but at the same time 
when it's online i'm saying it's not as easy as they think like uh, they are expert they may be experts in the physical event industry but to make them an online mc i need to spend around 10 to 20 hours of my time to train them so what if they attend all those 10 hours 20 hours of uh, training and then they say that no i'm not interested in this or rather i've got some other opportunity and then they back out which means that 10 or 20 hours is a waste of time for me that's the reason we ask the training fee as a caution deposit or if it's a normal physical i'm saying where they have already an expert then i don't need to spend much time all i need to do is just share their profile to someone when they get the opportunity yes of course we are going to have 20 percent margin or sometimes 30 percent margin that is a different story but in completely different industry where we struggled a lot the first year like once the lockdown started last year first six months uh, myself and my entire team we didn't earn anything because we spent a lot of time on the research we did a lot of free training program we paid uh, regularly for zoom like even in the lockdown period i have been paying all my training fees i've been undergoing a lot of training programs i've been making the payment i've been paying for zoom regularly likewise we have a lot of subscriptions so uh, money is not the primary thing i would say like money is not the reason i would say it's all the priority so if at all someone who is really serious about the life even they don't have money they will arrange the money and they will attend the training programs or whatever the ways i have suggested here instead of saying no i'm just looking out for the opportunity where without spending anything without spending the time or without spending the money or without spending effort i would like to earn definitely that's not possible in this pandemic time people have already realized it at least if you have not realized it please realize it now and start associating with good people start associating with people who, who teach you or in a right way who is able to guide you in the right way thank you so much mc tamarasan signing off you can contact me on my whatsapp 9 9 3087198 alternate number 8610257395